The Alaska Native Tribal Health Consortium works to improve the health of the people we serve by partnering with communities to support healthcare facilities and water and sewer systems in rural Alaska. Through these partnerships, ANTHC's Energy Department aims to reduce energy costs for rural Alaskans by implementing energy efficient and renewable energy projects. Remote monitoring systems help us achieve these goals by monitoring facilities and providing real-time data that can help avoid system failure. Remote maintenance workers, or RMWs, are employed by both the state of Alaska and ANTHC as centralized support to local operators. In Bethel, roughly 400 miles southwest of Anchorage, RMWs support 52 surrounding communities. Bethel's around uh, 6,500 people. Uh, life in Bethel is different than uh, the lower 48 or even uh, the road system in Alaska. Uh, we're more, more remote, we're smaller, and uh, we rely on each other uh, much more. Each of the communities has um, a different water situation. Some of them uh, are fully piped, um, and that means that they have, uh, they have pipes circulating around the community. Every house is hooked up to the pipes uh, with water and sewer. Um, there's other places that are uh, on haul systems where there's a four wheel that pulls a trailer up to the house and they pump in a couple hundred gallons of water at a time um, and then another trailer comes by and uh, removes the sewage and like everything is hauled literally um, in and out. Um, other places there's just a central watering point where uh, they, can, they can go and fill buckets of water and haul back to their house and, uh, and all the sewage is hauled away. Uh, in honey buckets or in five gallon buckets um, to a dump location. Through remote monitoring, local water treatment plant operators and RMWs view and collect real-time information such as temperatures, pressures, and flow rates, allowing operators to troubleshoot problems at a distance to avert catastrophic failures. Sensors are installed to measure key system parameters. The operators set normal operating ranges for these sensors like minimum water temperature, so that they are alerted when a freeze-up is about to occur and the issue can be caught before the pipes burst. After sensors are installed on the equipment, each sensor regularly emits a signal that is picked up by a gateway, which works like an internet router. Then, the gateway sends the signal to the cloud where a publicly accessible dashboard shows the real-time values. The total monthly data used by these systems running continuously is about the same size as sending two photos on your cell phone. Uh, village of Quinnahawk, um, a couple of years ago, it was, uh, I think, the 29th of December, coming right up on the uh, New Year's holiday. Um, they had problems. Uh, the building was getting cold, and they, uh, they called me and, and said that the building was cold, and I had looked at the remote monitoring, and I could see that the temperature had been dropping for, uh, for several hours. And I uh, looked at the boiler temperatures, and, and the boilers were hot, and everything seemed to be right as far as the numbers, but they weren't getting any heat into the building. So with the holiday coming uh, and the conditions, um, I decided to uh, hop a plane. I was able to get a plane real quick, got a charter down, um, landed on the runway, already knowing kind of what I was looking for, that it wasn't, uh, I didn't have to troubleshoot the whole thing. I needed to troubleshoot a very specific problem. In uh, with an hour, we were able to get heat back onto that building. Resolved the problem, it was a, a failed valve, motorized valve uh, that was installed incorrectly and then failed in the wrong position um, and shut everything off. And so uh, remote monitoring really did save that plant. Um, a day later, everybody would have been on break for, for New Year's and we wouldn't have known until it was a catastrophic failure at the plant. Any system can be easily monitored via a publicly accessible web page and mobile phone alerts to keep operators informed of any sudden problem that they need to investigate. 30 miles above the Arctic Circle in Kotzebue, RMWs serve 10 communities where temperatures can drop far below freezing. When the temperature drops to 30, 40 below for the first time, some of the villages we run into problems with uh, like well lines freezing. with. Uh, remote monitoring, we could at least see the problem come in and then that way we could get them, things swapped out before we completely freeze up or have a big problem. It'll send us alerts to prevent a freeze up, so it's nice when it gives us a text, even if it's 10 at night or something. If we didn't have the uh, remote monitoring, we wouldn't have known our tank height. 
On average, energy costs represent 40% of the total cost of providing water and sewer and are typically a third of the total amount of energy used by the entire community. One kilowatt hour of electricity can cost over a dollar, compared to an average of 12 cents in the lower 48 states. The cost of providing water and sanitation services in rural Alaska is 70 to 300 times more than for residents in other states. These high costs are passed down to residents through their monthly utility bills. Remote monitoring also helps operators track fuel and electricity usage, providing the data needed to help discover energy saving solutions. I was checking the remote monitoring for Norvik and I noticed that their tank temperature was getting too hot. The tank temperature there started spiking to like 56 to 60 degrees. So I texted uh, Jeremy and told him to turn the temperature down on the uh, tank, the tank temperature so that we were not wasting, uh, wasting heat to make water that warm. So we got it back down between 40 and 45 degrees now. So that was good to catch that instead of keeping warm water and tank and just wasting heat that we don't need to waste it on. In recent years, ANTHC's remote monitoring installations have prevented millions of dollars of catastrophic failures and protected hundreds of millions of dollars of water and sewer infrastructure. Damaged systems take months or years to get back online, leaving residents to melt snow or ice and use buckets for waste. Remote monitoring is a critical tool in ANTHC's work to provide the people we serve with water and sanitation systems that are clean, efficient, sustainable, and affordable. Our goal is to install remote monitoring systems in all rural communities in Alaska to help us achieve our vision that Alaska Native people are the healthiest people in the world.